Your task for today mainly is to find this plant. <laughs> it looks so yeah. generic. Yeah. I'm assuming that when I come close to the leaf, right, they will have some like body language <laughs> signifying. <laughs> It's a beautiful day to be out. You know what you're doing today? I mean, I'm in a park, so obviously it's park related. But other than that, I'm not too sure. I do not eat that person. Then for now, I get to eat very Wow. Hey, but I don't chew chai, I like so much chai. So the reason why um, we ask you to eat the veggies is because you want you to have more appreciation for plants today? Mm. I don't like veggies. I got to what? Take one mouth of the vegetables. Like, you'll be working in the herbarium. Do you know what it is? It's actually like a library where black plant specimens are like sorts. If I didn't know it's like yeah, something related to ant I would have thought maybe it's like more PGM related. Do you go blind properly? <coughs> <coughs> I grow cherry tomato. Then after I harvest one round, the whole plant started falling sick. It died a very sad death. So why is it important that we collect these specimens and put them in a library? Because we need to know the plant species that we have before we can start to tell the diversity of an area. I <laughs> well, very chill now. Very chill now. What do you say? So it's a snapshot of the forest today. So in 20 years later, people may look at the snapshot of the plant they collected. So you will know sometimes when the plant, whether they go extinct or not. Then how does that affect me? They are food and uh, shelter for the animals, the insects and things like that. We want to preserve all these and also make it more available to the public. So we'll be going into the rainforest to collect some plant specimens. And I have a little bag for you. There are some like, basic tools inside. Got gloves, scissors, secateurs. Got pencil, ruler. I'm excited. Your task for today mainly is to find this plant. <laughs> it looks so yeah. generic. Yeah. This is a close up of the flower. Oh, look like pao. Why am I looking for this plant? The scientific name is Coxia singaporensis. It is critically endangered. If you look at the flower, this is the same color as our national flag. Uh, well, now that I anyhow say people pao. <laughs> I think oh, all the plants look the same. <laughs> like this one? This is a alternate leaf arrangement. I don't understand. <laughs> so you just have to look at the leaves, whether uh, it's alternate. Because this one comes first, then this uh, one, yeah, then this, correct, then correct. this, then this. Oh, got it. Have you all ever got, gotten into like life danger, like endangered? What, what am I saying? Like, Life threatening? Yes. <laughs> so what? One time I was in the um, swamp forest but I weathered in too deep and I was like up to maybe mid time <laughs> and I was a bit stuck. Do you know how to swim? I know how to swim, but I don't want to swim in muddy water. <laughs> oh yeah, 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 I'm looking up. But, um, okay, I will look, I will look. I'm assuming that when I come close to the leaf, right, they will have some like body language signifying. They cannot hint to you that easily. You need to do your homework. Eh? I am. <laughs> also in this one. <laughs> Ah, you ah, found the you white found flower. <laughs> wow! Oh, it's on top! Yeah! Oh, it's a big tree! Yeah, it's a big tree. Record anything you observe about the plant. Cut one small branch here. Yes! <laughs> Your first collection. Now we are back in the herbarium and we need to process the specimen that we have collected. Processing this would involve pressing it as well as drying it in the oven. You need to make sure that all parts of the plant can be seen because once it's dried, you cannot change the mm. orientation anymore. First, have a metal sheet, cardboard sheet, newspaper. Put the specimen down on a piece of newspaper. It can do a bit messy. Yeah. Yeah, you don't know which one. You, you need cannot to. cut off. Ah. We will use that um, scissors like thing which we call yeah. the secateurs. Trim away the branch as well. Yeah. Be a little bit more gentle and press it down. Tighten it using this hole. Then this, whatever we press here, will last for how long? Our oldest specimen is from 1790. Wow! <laughs> yeah, yes. So, oh, so we're creating a piece of history right yeah. now. 
So we have properly labelled this and we will now put this into the oven. So yeah, this is how it will look like when it's dried. Okay. So, you're missing your lunch. Yeah, lunch please! <laughs> but not bad, very strong. Wow. <laughs> so the backstory that y'all don't know is that I don't eat veg. Oh, is it? <laughs> you are the plant best friend. Okay, <laughs> don't kill <Yeah>. me. <laughs> That's why. It's <laughs> because they are good. She's not eating the green <laughs> Cabbage. That's a cabbage. Eh? <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not. Oh, this is a cabbage? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what it's <laughs> I'm very curious, uh, how do y'all get into this job in the first place? My friends ask me like, why why you choose plants? Yeah. I say they're just there, they won't run away. They're not like snakes. So you don't want things that will yeah, move? Yeah, like don't need to go and catch them. What do y'all find most rewarding about your job? There are times when we go into the forest itself, you will recognise plants that are like endangered or mm, going extinct. Like just now like that? Yeah, we try to propagate the plant in the nursery, then we plant it out also. Then you see that hey, suddenly they are driving well in this place. Like, hey, you are survived, you are alive here. Now, we want to move from city in a garden into city in nature. So what are the benefits of this whole city in nature concept? On top of thinking more about our landscaping, you know, including more native species, making it look more naturalistic, uh, this will actually encourage perhaps native biodiversity. And uh, when you are in an environment where there's more greenery, this might help to have some kind of cooling effect. I mean, Singapore, we all know Singapore is so hot, right? Like everywhere we go, five minutes already, we'll sweat. So it's small things like that that can actually make a difference. And like, what is the biggest challenge that you face? I mean, we cannot see the result in short term. Probably about 10 or 20 years or even more, and then you will see the result of our research and things like that. Every week, I will go back to the same patch of land to survey the tree. Then Very after romantic you can eh, the story. So every week, you go back to a same tree and you can do that for up to 10 years. It's not really instant gratification. You must be very zen eh. What is one thing that the public doesn't really know that you wish they would know more. You do not indiscriminately create trails like trampling on the plants mm. in the forest. It's le learning that we need to coexist and we are interconnected with nature. You know, putting ourselves out there and caring for the environment. Even if we don't outwardly like join empires or become a volunteer, <laughs> we are more conscious of our behaviour. Yeah. Okay, so now we are going to examine our specimen under the microscope. It's really cool because it can take very high resolution images. So the image actually looks three dimensional. Wow! Yeah, so technology. Um, I will run this program. Measure. <laughs> yeah. This unit, huh? I very long never see you. <laughs> the last time I saw yeah. this, I think I was in JC. But these are such small details, right? 500 years down the road, why would I need to care that this flower got hair? It's a account for people to definitively identify a species. If we regard them all as the same species, yeah. we might not know what role they play because they also have different habitats that they specialize in. Yeah. So you want to try to adjust okay. it yourself? So what should I take? <laughs> so um, this will go into a book. Uh. Then got my name. <laughs> yeah, so you remember just now in the field, we asked you to take down some plant notes. You will go through like taxonomic literature, see what are some of the families that have these characters, and then after that, you have some candidates in mind. Of course! Then you explain to me. Compare, you know, the specimen to the specimens that we have in front of us and tell me which one is Kopsia Singaporeans. Okay. Why am I looking at it? Singapore got a cleave meh. This one is like like that. This one is like... This is the determination state. Yeah, and this is Kopsia Singaporeans. Because you help her so much already. Bye -bye. <laughs> Today we've been through quite a bit of work. The big question for me is like, what makes the work you do important? For example, a freshwater swan forest, if we know that these have a lot of plants that are specialised uh, to grow in this muddy environment, then yeah. we can guide decision making on whether this area is quite biodiverse and it should be conserved. It's like you are one small stepping stone, but the, a very important one. It is more important that we truly get a good understanding of what the forest is in order to even make a future decision on 
whether something it deserves to be conserved, what kind of value it has to the whole ecosystem. Mm -hmm. So one of the community-driven initiatives that people can sign up for would be One Million Trees, mm. which is our aim to plant mm -hmm. one million more trees on top of what we have by 2030. So I can and plant you a can, tree? Yeah, you can like plant ministers a tree. like that? Get your family and friends to sign up. I'll be the one in a million. Be responsible herbarium users and put them back. Clusiasi. Two, five, seven. I give you three minutes. Yeah. Time, but now. You know what I want? I want James Bond. Okay. Dun 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 dun. Feeling underappreciated at work or tired of explaining what your job is over and over again? If there's anything you want to learn more about or if you just want to see me suffer more, please hit us up and of course, like, share and subscribe!